Okay, Anita Brooks Kirkland here, and uh, we're going to talk today just a little bit about finding images that you can use in the Chrome browser, uh, Google, um, the Google search in a Chrome browser, and also a little bit about searching for images in Google Apps. Uh, isn't it nice that the Google Goggle today is so entertaining? So uh, before I get started on my search, you can watch the dance. Uh, I could start my search of course, by clicking on the images tab to uh, limit my search to just images, but I'm going to go for the uh, general tab here because that's where most um, people will start. And of course, I'm going to search for library learning commons. Uh, we know that we can differentiate with the different tabs across here. So I'm going to look for images. And look at that, we see some images right there from Leading Learning, and that's from my blog. How about that? But we have all sorts of images of um, the Learning Commons. Great, that's where most people would stop. They'd browse and they'd pick something they liked and they'd plop it into their project and that would be that. But I want to show you a couple things that um, you can do. Um, have you ever noticed this search tools button? Because this is the most useful place to be. So I'm going to click on there. Uh, you know, you can limit by size or by file type. Uh, I'm going to start with color. Nobody would think of that one intuitively, maybe, but uh, here, black and white. And look at what I got. Sometimes it's useful if you are trying to find um, organizers. There's an organizer because that would be typically in black and white. But this one has even produced some floor plans and drawings. So that's just one little thing I wanted to show you there. Uh, I'm going to have to turn that off and it does make me click on the search tools again. Um, type, you know, I can clip, clip on uh, clip art. And there again, we see some familiar images um, that have been shared in places um, that I have something to do with, um, but could be useful for finding all sorts of clip art for any topic. And just for now, I'm going to go back to any type and click on my search tools again. The one that I really want you to notice is this drop down for usage rights. When I click on there, uh, you will see that the default search is not filtered by license. So these images uh, could be covered by full copyright. They could be in the public domain. They could be anything. Um, but you know, you don't know. And when uh, people do Google image searches, what I find is they often cite Google image search as their source. And of course, it's not a source, it's a search engine. So, uh, but these other um, categories here, you should recognize as the description for Creative Commons licensing, which is a way of sharing uh, the creator of the image wants you to use it as long as you meet specific um, requirements, all of which include citation, by the way, and then some that in include, uh, you know, how you can use them. You could reuse it. You can reuse this one for non-commercial purposes, uh, and you can even modify it. So let's just try that one. Okay, and so now it has uh, limited the image returns to uh, those that are labeled with Creative Commons licensing for non-commercial reuse with modification. When you float over these images, you're likely going to find that a lot of them come from Wikipedia or Wikimedia Commons, which is another uh, branch of the Wikipedia organization for um, storing uh, media files. You're going to find some are from Flickr because a lot of images in Flickr are um, Creative Commons licensed. For now, we're going to go for one that uh, here's one from Wikimedia Commons. And let's have a look at that image. It's quite nice, isn't it? Now I could just pull this image down and stop at that. But we are building in information ethics. And so I'm going to uh, visit the page. Wikimedia Commons gives me all sorts of uh, uh, information. It allows me 
to pick the size of the image that I want to um, download. Uh, it gives you all sorts of information about the type of license that it has. Um, it tells you how it's being used on uh, Wikipedia, etc. What I want you to notice is this tab here for use this file on the web. When you click on that, it brings up a pop-up and it shows you all of the information that you need for citing the image appropriately. It gives you the link, it gives you how it should be attributed, it gives you all sorts of information. And it is really that easy to find um, images uh, that you are allowed to use using the Chrome Google Image Search and the, the Search Tools tab. So I want to show you um, that that is also an option for you when you are using any kind of Google app. Uh, here, here's my plan for uh, a workshop with York Catholic District School Board. And if I go to the tools and I click on research, then you will see that it brings up a Google search box. Oh, by the way, just notice how it's suggesting different things that um, the, it thinks that I might be interested in searching. But uh, here we go. I'm going to uh, click in that search box. And of course, I've got the same kinds of choices that I had in Chrome. Uh, in this case, I'm going to select images. I will try the same search, library, learning, commons, search and it brings up thumbnails for all of these images. What I really want you to notice is this little drop down arrow because there it is. I can filter image by usage rights. So right now it is not filtered by license. I can uh, select free to use, share or modify even commercially, which of course is a Creative Commons designation. And I can, and of course, it's changed my choices. You're going to recognize some of these choices from our previous example. And it even lets me choose different citation styles for how I want to cite, uh, cite that image. So please do uh, use these and teach these skills to your students. It used to be so much harder to find images that you could use ethically. It is easier these days and we've got tools to make it um, uh, really as convenient as possible.